Okay, this has to be a PSYOP. We can't believe anything anymore. Astronomers revealed that 3i Atlas appears to have reverse thrust right before it disappeared behind the sun. You know, the interstellar visitor passing through our solar system that's totally just a regular comet. It's reversing thrust, like appearing to slow down as if it's about to land. Now stop right there, debunkers, because scientists are giving coping a natural scientific explanation to this reversal. But something about this just feels so orchestrated, like someone or a group of people are behind this all with an ulterior motive, like an actual psychological operation. And every update that comes out about this all but confirms just that. So scientists say that as a comet gets closer to the sun, what they call a tail flip is actually quite common based on the angle we're viewing it from, which makes it look like the tailing trail behind a comet flipped from our perspective here on Earth, and hence reverse thrust as it makes its way around the sun, and typically happens at perihelion, which is an object's closest approach to the sun. Now, coincidentally, researchers state that perihelion is also when an artificial spacecraft would apply reverse thrust to slingshot itself via gravitational assist, applying the brakes to slow down, using the sun's gravity to change direction or even speed up, creating the anti-tail we are now seeing. And this is exactly why this object is so controversial. Everything about this whole sky event is just pure debate bait. The scientists are going to insist it's a totally natural comet tail flip, and the tinfoil hatters are going to tell you it's an alien spaceship getting ready to visit us. Now, even Avi Loeb, the main professor behind this whole 3i Atlas claim stated, if 3i Atlas is a massive mothership, it will likely continue along its original gravitational path and ultimately exit our solar system, essentially making this a bit of a recon mission rather than a full-blown invasion, but also kind of giving him an easy out while standing by his claim if nothing actually happens. He also says NASA has photo evidence that it is an alien probe, that they are purposely gatekeeping and refusing to release to the public, who have been bizarrely silent about 3i Atlas conveniently as soon as it started getting close to us. Maybe the Anunnaki just want to check up on us to see what we've been up to since they last came around. It's been a couple thousand years after all. But whatever this thing is, I can't help but feel all the news around it has been intentionally designed to rage bait everyone into arguing about it. Every observation made about it seems to have an equal natural and alien explanation to it, so have at it and don't take things too seriously. Unless there's a massive mothership in our sky being broadcasted around the world, then, then we can start to get a little serious about it.